everybody. How you doing? I'm doing real good. Uh, I was finally going to paint. Hey, yesterday I got so tired I fell asleep. Anyway, I'm going to do some Arteza stuff this week. Because I haven't done that for a while. And I do have my coupon code reestablished. So, uh, that's another reason I'll do it for show you guys some of their products they have. They have awesome paints. Today I'm using the Arteza 14 set. And they come in the little pouches. Uh, so I do have a coupon code in my description for 10% off. Uh, Sherry's Life 4 would be the coupon code. Anyway, I don't have the box anymore. Because I had these for quite a while, but I decided to go ahead and use these first, and that's what it is. It's the Acrylic Premium Artist Paints. Set of 14. Okay. There you go. Anyway, I always like using these colors because they're kind of unpredictable in a way. Uh, sometimes you can get mud. <laughs> And then sometimes you can get pretty greens and purples and all that. So that's why I like using them. I'm using the lemon yellow. A little bit of ultramarine. Titanium white. Crimson red. And then phthalo blue so two blues there but just a little bit of each probably a little more phthalo and that's it 10 by 10 canvas my paints are mixed with two parts floetrol and a little bit of water bring i try to bring them all to like a warm honey consistency not too much water just a little bit add it very slowly until you get that nice little tiny mountain where it disappears. Okay. That's hopefully where they're all at. Yeah. Let's double check. Give them a stir too because they've been sitting here for about 20 minutes. Little mountain. Good. Uh, looks good. Getting your paints the same consistency can also help you get cells. That's a key to getting cells. Not easy for the paints to collide together and create cells if there's one thin and one thick. Then they can't really, you know, combine. I think this white's a little bit thicker. That's why I always check it ahead of time. Okay. So I added just a little water to the white. That one's just a little too thick. So, alrighty, here we go. And I decided I'm going to keep out the ultramarine. I'm not going to put that one in because I don't need two blues. Alright, here we go. This should be about the same now. Hopefully, let me see how it pours. Yeah, it's about the same. all seem exactly the same so that's good Stick almost broke. There we go. All 
right, it's just going to let that kind of settle down a little. And we'll see what happens. <laughs> so like one time I took the cup. When I saw it done by somebody. I can't remember though. Long time ago. And it was the coolest painting. Some of you may remember. And it looked like a like a river. Remember? And then like a horizon in the background. Oh, it was so cool. But I'm scared to do that again. <laughs> But I, would, I went down and then go up through it. Well, let's try it now that I talked about it. Oh, I got it all out. Oh, no, it didn't work. Oh, well. Let's see if those things do anything. It didn't work. I can't remember who got that painting, though. That was pretty neat. If you're watching, let me know. That did not work. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Oh, look at how it's specked up, though. Be like some creepy looking thing in the middle. I'm telling you, me and flip cuts, they don't get along too well. Cause they're like too unpredictable to me. That's why I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna give it a cool effect look. Hopefully. <laughs> don't start, <laughs> Daniel! My son's giving me a hard time, guys. Well, he just came out of his room when I was ready to start the camera. He's like, oh. Like yawning. And I'm just like, for real, dude? He's always making some kind of noise, either blowing his nose, waking up, brushing his teeth. Now he's in the kitchen getting munchies. What you eating now? <laughs> Cereal? Good time together. And my oldest son is a good guy again. I like this color over here, that green it gave. So I'm glad I didn't use that ultramarine. It's kind of neat. Yeah, it was looking like a little bug there in the beginning. That's why I did that. So I don't know about. colors though it's beautiful <laughs> it's different though but oh, flip cups are always unpredictable there. give it a little different there <laughs> I'm so picky what's this that thing right there that must have been my weird. That's a very strange. Look at that. This line. I don't like that line right there. Oh, man.
Yeah. That's usually how I go with flip cups. I sat there looking at it with the camera off and I'm like, I didn't like the, if you go back a little, you'll see the way it was. The only thing that changed is this middle. It's, it's cool now. I like it. I like this painting. It's very cool. But I kept going with the pipette, sucking more of this color because there was a big round spot. And then I started looking like an alien face right here. So I had to mess with that too a little. But I'm digging it now. <laughs> After five, ten minutes of messing with it. Uh, sorry about that, but uh, it's cool. Though it started to expand more, more cells. The longer it sat, though. <laughs> Let's look at my middle. <laughs> it's not bad though. It's good. It's pretty neat. A lot going on, real cool. I like it a lot better. <laughs> oh my. Anyway, every once in a while I will do a positive quote if you're here for your first time. Okay, just had to find it on my phone here. Uh, here it is. Once you become fearless, life becomes limitless. There are no limits to what you can accomplish, except the limits you place on your own thinking. There we go. Well, thanks everybody for watching. <laughs> Sorry I became so picky. Uh, welcome to all the new subscribers. I appreciate you here. And I hope everybody has a good rest of your week here. Okay? Let me know what you think of this painting. I think it's pretty awesome. Have a good one. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye now.